Good morning, my beautiful Nicolettes. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys along and share with you kind of what I do at the gym, what I eat before I go to the gym, what I eat after my workout and drink as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I did another one of these videos before and you guys seem to love that one. So I thought I would do another one because it's been a while. I'm currently already in my gym clothes, as you guys will see. So I'm just wearing a basic pair of leggings that I got from Aritzia. They're TNA leggings. And the top that I'm wearing is actually from Brandy Melville. And then I just have a sports bra underneath. I also always like to put my hair up, up in a bun. You know, I am really hungry, so we're gonna head downstairs, make some breakfast. Every morning to start off, I always like to drink a glass of water with lemon on an empty stomach. This is really great to start your morning off with because lemon acts as a digestive and a detoxifying agent and really helps to clean the liver leading to better digestive health. Lemon water is also an effective way to reduce weight as it increases the body's metabolic rate. So you could do this also with warm water, which is what I typically do, but for today, I just went with some cold water to kind of just wake me up. Once I was done drinking my lemon water, I am just moving on to making some breakfast. So I am just taking these two slices of bread. This is actually made without dairy and I've been really trying to cut back on my dairy that I've been having every single day. And then I am just going to make some eggs. So I actually like to cook things with avocado oil. Avocado oil is actually the safest oil for high heat cooking due to its extremely high smoke point. And then I just went in with one egg and I also put in egg whites. So instead of putting in a bunch of different eggs, I've been really liking to just put that one in and then use the rest as egg white. This is just a little bit healthier than let's say having three whole eggs. And once I put it all together, I just like to scramble it all up. Eggs are extremely great to have right in the morning because it's a really great source of protein. And protein really helps to repair your muscles, manage your blood sugar levels, and provide immunity and strength and help in weight loss. So once I was done cooking, everything I just put my eggs onto my bread and then of course I filled up another glass of water because I always like to be drinking water all throughout my day I constantly have a reusable water with me throughout the day and I definitely recommend always keeping up with your hydration because it is key to living a healthy lifestyle so I will just sit at the table and just go on and eat my breakfast and then when I finish my breakfast I'll usually wait a little bit so it digests and then I will head out to the gym. Today is actually a leg and butt day. And when I am doing a leg day, I really like to start off with some cardio, in particular doing the bicycle. So I will do the bicycle for 20 to 30 minutes straight. And I really like to do this form of cardio when I have a leg day because it will not only burn those calories, but also it really helps to tone your muscles in your legs. Once I was done with my cardio, I just went upstairs and started off with some hamstring curls. So I am just using this machine right here and I typically do about 40 pounds. For every set I do, I really like to do four sets of 15. That's what I've been going for recently. And what I like to do with this machine actually is just do both legs at once. And then I will put the weight a little bit lower to about 20 pounds and then alternate between my right leg and left leg. So I will do 15 reps on my right leg and then 15 reps on my left leg and then once I'm doing that I will go back to doing 15 reps with both legs at 40 pounds and then switch it back down to 20 pounds and do my right leg and left leg and I'll just alternate between the two for four sets of 15 but you're really going to feel the burn in your hamstrings and it's just an overall really great leg workout. The 
next exercise that I have been loving doing on leg days is the assisted machine single leg press down. So this is a glute push down. You're really going to feel it, like I said, in the glutes. So all I did is I started off with my right leg and I did 15 reps before I moved on to doing the same thing on my left leg. But for all of these exercises, it really depends on the weight you wanna put down. Of course, I always like to start with a lighter weight and just work my way up. So whenever I do do more sets, I usually like to increase my weight each set that I do. And I just really like this because I find it's just such a great booty workout and you're really gonna feel the burn there. Once I was done that, I moved on to the horizontal calf raise machine. And I really love this for my calves, of course. You can really feel the burn. So you're just going to put your legs onto the bar and push your calves up and down. And I like to move the weights up each set as normal. And this is just really going to tone and build your muscles in your calves. A must for me is listening to music during my workouts and I'm just curious, comment down below what is your favorite song at the moment. This next exercise is leg lunges, but to make it a little bit more difficult, I like to do leg lunges on a bench where you have one of your legs elevated on top of a bench instead of just doing typical leg lunges on the ground. I just find that you can feel the burn a lot more and it just really works those legs a lot better than doing leg lunges on the floor. And of course, I like to switch between my right leg and left leg. And as always, I just do 15 reps on on each leg and do this for four sets. Now I'm just moving on to the seated leg press machine. And all you have to do is place your feet on the platform about shoulder width apart and you're going to push it up and down. And this is also a really great exercise for your legs, of course. And I always like to implement this machine on a leg day. I just started off with 90 pounds, but I do like to add more weights each set that I complete. Now I'm just moving on to some squats with this bar here and squats are definitely a full body fitness staple. So it's really going to help work the hips, the glutes, your quads, hamstrings, and it actually even helps strengthen your core. You want to also make sure when you are coming up from your squats, you don't want to ever extend your legs or arms from a workout completely straight because this can lead to injury. You want to make sure there's always a slight bend even when you are coming up from your squat. And something else I like to do on this machine over here is also do some half raises. So all you do is you put the, keep the bar behind your neck and you're just going to lift your toes up and down. And I like to do this a little bit more slowly. I like to do exercises a lot more slow and controlled as opposed to doing them super quick. It is just a lot more effective when you take your time for each rep that you do because you wanna make sure that you are doing it also properly. This next exercise is one of my favorites. For it, all you're going to need is a weighted bar and I just took a 40 pound bar and I put it over on my shoulders and you're going to do some cross lunges and squats. So to start off, I like to do a cross lunge, then go into a squat and then go into another cross lunge on the other side. And cross lunges are super great because it is a lunge that really focuses on strengthening your glutes, your quads, hamstrings and calves and it really helps to shape that booty and also sculpt your thighs so it's an overall really great leg exercise and I just like to do this 15 times 
for four sets and you're really going to start feeling the burn by the end. This next exercise, you're definitely gonna feel out of breath after a little bit, but all you're going to need is a weighted plate. And I just took a 10 pound weighted plate and I did some jumping squats. So I jumped into a squat and then I jumped my feet together and lift the weighted plate over my head. And after you do this for a little bit, you're definitely going to get out of breath, but you're going to feel such a big burn in your legs. And I just really like to do some sort of jumping squats every single time I do a leg day. Now I just went back and took the 40 pound bar and I am just doing some deadlifts. This is going to be the last like weight workout that we do, but I always like to add some deadlifts on a leg day. I think it is another fitness staple for a leg day but I always like to make sure once again that you have a slight bent in your legs. And of course you can use whatever weight you want for this and you can increase it over time. The last thing I actually like to do sometimes at my gym is just to do some stretches and gymnastics. So I actually did gymnastics growing up and I was a competitive gymnast. And sometimes to just keep it up, I like to do a little bit at my gym. I think in the end of the day, if you wanna keep up with exercising, you need to make it fun for you. And I also like to do a quick cool down stretches as well to really make sure that you aren't going to pull anything or injure yourself. Now I'm gonna share what I like to have after my workout and I always like to make a protein smoothie. So to make this, I'm just starting off with one banana, half a cup of oats, two tablespoons of peanut butter and one cup of almond milk, as well as a handful of spinach and then some ice because I always like my smoothies to be super cold. I just put the lid on top and blended it all up and that is what I like to have after all my workouts. I make sure to have protein after because when you do exercise regularly, you need more protein to support muscle recovery and growth. So that's why it's really important to add some source of protein after your workouts. And this is a really great pro smoothie that is full with protein and fiber and also iron. So it's just an overall really great smoothie and it also tastes super delicious. So I definitely recommend trying this out. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some inspiration or maybe just if you were curious what I do, then I hope this gave that for you. But if you guys did like it, thumbs it up. It always helps me out. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you're part of my YouTube family. I would love if you guys joined. And that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.